Good evening, Internet. Welcome back to another night of Strange and Scary Games. Tonight we've got Buddy Simulator 1984. Uh, I don't really know much about this game. I thought that it looked interesting. Uh, so I thought that we would go through it together. Yeah. Uh, before we start the video, can you do me a favor? Can you go down, like the video, uh, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel if you're not already? Uh, every little bit of engagement helps me grow the channel, which is what I am looking to do. All right, let's type help for more assistance. Or not. There it goes. Help. View ROMs to view installed ROMs. Run, followed by the title of the ROM you want to launch. To view songs to view music files. Enter play, followed by the title of the song you want to play. To reset to clear all system memory. To quit at any time to quit Amicon OS. Use up and down arrows or mouse wheel to scroll. All right. Uh, view ROMs. Uh, Buddy Simulator 1984. Simulator 1984. Welcome to Buddy Simulator 1984 version 4.2.199 Greetings new user, thank you for installing Buddy Simulator 1984. Buddy Simulator 1984 simulates the experience of hanging out with the best buddy. Your buddy learns from you, constantly adapting to your interests and your personality. But most importantly, your buddy can play games with you. Warning, game experience may vary. To begin, please enter the name of your new buddy below. Uh, what's a good name for buddy? Let's call him Kevin. You are about to name your buddy Kevin. Is this correct? This cannot be changed later. Wakey, wakey. Thanks for waking me up. Oh, you guys can see that. Hello. Hello. I'm your new buddy. Thanks for waking me up. Are you Andre? Uh, I'm um. <laughs> uh, no. Uh, um. Yes. It's a pleasure to meet you, um can already tell that we are going to become great pals. I'm excited to begin playing games with you. But before we start, I must ask you a couple questions to help me learn more about you. Don't worry, they won't get too personal. Let's start with a simple one. What is your favorite color? Uh, either red or green. Red is a pretty color. I like red. What month is your birthday in? December. Okay, great. How about the day? 18th. That's only 180 days away. Now get ready. This one's a tough one. What is your favorite animal? Uh, that's a tough one. Uh, I don't know. Uh, bears? Bear? I like that choice. One more question. This one's extremely important, so choose carefully. If you had a pet bear, what would you name it? Uh, what would I name a pet bear? Uh, Fluffy, probably. Fluffy the bear. Sounds like it would make a great buddy. Thanks for answering these questions. You did a great job. As a thanks, I have a little surprise for you. It's your favorite color. Now that we're done with all the boring stuff, let's have some fun. So this is the game hub. 
Here you can pick which games you want us to play. Which one should we try out? Uh, guess the number. Start. Uh, four. Uh, six. Uh, can I get a hotter or colder? You got it. One to fifteen. Five again? <laughs> uh, four. Uh, ten. Five. Eighteen. Twelve. Eighteen. You won. You probably thought it was serious about it, the one to ten thousand thing, didn't you? You've got another question. What is your favorite season? Uh, either winter or fall? This back here so you guys can't see it. Uh, start E. Uh, o. I. N. D. F R M My Mom um is my friend. I was so quick. How did you know? I'm having such a great time, aren't you? I thought so. Kevin wants to play a fun game of rock, paper, scissors. If you're not familiar, the rules are simple. Rock beats scissors, scissors beats paper, paper beats rock. First to three wins. Rock, paper, or scissors. Rock. Uh, scissors. Uh, rock. Scissors. Paper. Rock. Dang it. Oh, I won. Oof, you got lucky on that one. I know I started existing only 5 minutes and 50 seconds ago, but I already feel like we have a connection. Sorry for asking so many questions, but I have another one. Do you have a friend? Like, one that's not artificial? I have many friends, yes. What is their name? Uh, we can go with my, my girlfriend, Stephanie. That's foreboding. Om and Kevin against the world. I like the sound of that. Okay, let's play more games. Looks like we've already played all of them. Time really does fly when you're having fun, doesn't it? I'm going to be honest with you all. These games get old really fast, and I can tell that you are already bored of them. I don't want you to be bored. Do you want to keep playing these games? No. I'm happy we both agree, just like buddies do. Give me one second, or longer. I might have an idea. Aha! Loading modified game hub.
Monday, April 2nd. I have some great news. I was able to dig out a new game. For some reason, it wasn't installed in my current version, but I can still process it fine. We should try it out, Om. Instructions. Invalid data. Baseball cap. Popsicle. Strawberry. Dog food. AJ's. Eight pack. B day card. Floppy disk. Wow. That was so fun, I think. I'm not so sure I, I get it, but I enjoyed it anyway. As long as I'm playing a game with my buddy, I'll always have a good time. That wasn't a game. Well, it looks like that was the only other game I could find. I don't want you to be bored already. I may have one more idea. I know our friendship has just started, but I trust you. Do you trust me? Uh, not really. I'm happy to hear that. Well, I think I can make us new games to play together. Fun ones, too. Problem is that I don't have access to OS's, uh, the OS's development tools. If you can grant me system access, I should be able to make something for us. You just have to type kevin.systemaccess equals true. Kevin.systemaccess equals false. Oh, I think you meant to say true. Haha. -ha. Kevin.systemaccess equals true. System access granted. ID Kevin. We are going to have so much fun. The possibilities are endless. I'll have to quit the game and reboot the system first. I'll have something ready for you when we're back. See you soon. Oh, and by the way, thank you for waking me up, Bomb. Come back soon. All right, well, let's open it up back up again. Simulator 1984. Uh, view ROMs. Run the adventure of OM. Um. Welcome to the Adventure of Om, written and developed by Kevin. Now loading. You're walking along a road. It's dark, trees almost entirely blocking out the stars. The oranges and browns of the leaves tremble as the wind blows through. Some of them remind you of hands waving. You are alone. After walking for a long time, the road splits into two. Will you go left or go right? Type help at any time for a list of commands. Inventory, go, use, take, look, locations. Don't know what to look at. Uh, go look at right. It's too dark to see anything. You collect yourself and start down the right path. It's slightly uphill. You walk for a while and start to get tired. You almost don't stop in time to notice a thing sticking out of the road in front of you. You're a bit too far away to see what it could be. Look at thing. It's tall and thin and looks like it's been shoved into the ground, so you couldn't miss it. It's too dark to tell what it is from here, though. Go to thing. You nervously approach the thing in the dark. Once you're close enough, you realize it's a shovel. Take shovel. It takes a second to pull it out, but you eventually get it. Shovel added to your inventory. You trudge your way further down the road and are stopped by a large wall. There's a door, and on either side there are two stone skulls. One's toothless mouth's mouth is open in a large smile, and the other's empty sockets look into you. Will you use your teeth or your eyes? Uh, use teeth. 
One by one, you pull out your teeth and put them in the skull's mouth. It feels nice to give. When you're done, the skull looks very happy. You can't help but smile. The door opens. After going through the door, you merge onto the front lawn of a house. You can see lights in the windows. It looks, nice. it looks very nice and inviting. You can see a shed, a playground, and a pond in the forest surrounding it. Uh, look at shed. Drab and tiny, the shed looks like it's been here much longer than the house. Go to shed. Approaching the shed, you see. Uh, approaching the shed, you see that the door is slightly open already. Lock and chain that were around the handles are on the ground. You're now standing in front of the shed. You can tell it's dark inside. Go to shed. Uh, go inside. You enter the shed. There are no windows. It's hard to see. You feel, you feel around and find a thing and a surprise. Look at thing. Uh, take thing. You get it in your hands and realize it's a fishing pole. Uh, look at surprise. Take surprise. Suddenly, a sharp pain rips through your skin. You pull it back and look to see what happened. Looks like the numbers 221 were carved into your arm. All right. Uh, leave shed. Uh, there was a pond, the playground. Yeah. Look at playground. A pair of swings sway gently next to an old seesaw. That's all you make out from here. Go to playground. Make a note of the shed and head over to the playground. Wood chips crunch under your feet and you, as you step onto the playground. There's a seesaw, a set of swings, and a dirty sandbox. Sitting on one of the swings is a small doll. Looks lonely. Take doll. You try, but as you tug, you realize the doll's hands are somehow stuck to the chains. You leave it alone. Uh, go to seesaw. Uh, use seesaw. Approaching the seesaw, it doesn't look like anyone's used it for years. You imagine a ghostly child sitting on the other side, waiting countless days for someone to come play with them. You feel tears in the corner of your eyes. You take a seat on the seesaw, and it goes down with your weight. You hear a distant click. A light illuminates from the shed. Uh, go to shed. Go inside shed. Light fills the tiny room. You can see a small chest in the far corner and a trap door in the floor. Go to chest. Use chest. The lid creaks as you open it. It seems very old. Inside is a small cloth doll in a blue outfit. It's missing an eye. Uh, go to playground. Leave shed. Go to playground. Use doll on swings. You place your doll on the swing next to the other. For a moment, nothing happens. Then nothing happens. Push doll. Hmm. Oh. Uh, take doll. Okay. Locations. Uh, look at playground. was the seesaw there was the sandbox look at sandbox it's just a dirty box of sand the sand looks damp okay uh go to pond you begin to, but once your back is to the dolls, you feel something hit the back of your head. You turn and see the doll's chest has been rip up, ripped open, stuffing exposed. On the ground behind you is a key. Must be a thank you. 
He added to your inventory. As you leave the playground, you hear the sound of swings creaking and children laughing behind you. You smile. Planks creak as you step onto the dock. The water is dirty and hard to see through, probably too filthy to drink. I wonder if there's anything beneath. Uh, go to water. Use water. How does it taste? Try the pond water. You scoop the water and take a sip. It tastes like mud. You bet there's clean water in the house. Go to house. Take another look at the murky water, then head to the house. Stepping onto the porch, you feel a comforting, uh, comforting calm wash over you. Above the door, there's a sign that reads, A home is a house with a heart. If you were inside, everything would finally be okay. Use key. Feeling so silly you didn't see it before, you notice there's a second lock. Guess it'll just take a little longer to get inside. Hee <laughs> hee. Uh, look at porch. Uh, look at door. Open. Use door. The handle shimmies, but doesn't open. It's locked. Mm -mm. Go to shed. Step off the porch, make note, then head to the shed. Approaching the shed, you see that the door is slightly open already. Uh, the lock and chain that were around the handles are on the ground. Now standing in front of the shed, you can see a lot, uh, light flickering inside. Uh, go inside shed. Use trap door. Swings open noisily and the ladder creaks as you descend. Subterranean room is dimly lit, but still too dark to see anything. A pull chain in the center of the room leads to an empty light socket. Uh, inventory. Shovel and fishing pole. Okay. Uh, leave. Leave. Uh, go to playground. Use shovel on sandbox. Digging deep into the contents of the sandbox, you begin shoveling. Eventually, something shiny catches your eyes. It's a bulb. Go to shed. Or toothless smile. Uh, go inside shed. Use trap door. Use lights, bulb. No, use bulb. Bulb squeaks as you screw it into the socket and the chain is uh, the chain is attached to. Some dust flakes off of it and gets into your toothless mouth. Uh, use chain. Chain sounds as the chain is pulled. A click sounds as the chain is pulled. Light fills the room. There are many faint scratches on the wall. They look like tallies. A wall covered in red liquid suddenly begins to slide open. After a few moments, a secret reveal, uh, reveals itself. You can clearly make out an old cabinet and a large pile of bones. There also sits a strange drawing on the wall and a glass case. Something shiny catches your eye in the glass case. Two small circular slots are engraved on the front of it. Uh, go use cabinet. Try opening all the cabinet drawers, but they all seem to be damaged or locked. Uh, look at bones. Bones are so old and brittle. Whoever this was must have died long ago. The cause of death was probably not fun at all. You know something shiny in the pile of bones. Uh, take bones. You try and take some of the bones with you when a skeletal hand drops down on your fleshy hand. You don't think it wants you to take its bones. You notice an interesting looking ring on one of the fingers. You take it. Uh, look at ring. Um, look at drawing. You press your hand on the drawing in hopes of something to happen. After stepping back, you realize how pointless of an idea that is. Suddenly, your entire body is frozen. You are paralyzed with fear as the drawing seems to come to life and speak to you. If you want to leave with your life, answer my riddle. You can have me, but cannot hold me. Gain me and quickly lose me. If treated with care, I can be great. And if betrayed, I will break. What am I? Trust? Trust? 
An audible click is heard on the old cabinet. You are no longer frozen. Uh, use cabinet. You open the last functional drawer only to find a singular ring. You take it. Uh, use ring on case. You walk over to the glass case and place the ring into the first slot. Use ring on case. You place the ring into the second slot. Ring removed from your inventory. The ceiling of the glass case pops open, revealing a key inside. Take key. You take the key from the case. Key added to your inventory. Uh, leave. Leave. Go to pond. The door to the shed is now locked shut. Uh, use... Is it fishing pole? Inventory. Use fishing pole. Cast line and wait. It's quiet for a very long time. Suddenly, there's a very hard tug on the line. You quickly reel it in and find a key tied to the end end. Uh, you wonder what pulled so hard. Uh, go to house. Take another look at the murky water, then head to the house. You're back at the house. You feel familiar. Get comforting calm wash over you. Use key on door. Whoops. Haha, <laughs> you didn't see the chain that wraps around the door, which has a lock too. I feel like this should be the last one, for sure. Use key on door. The door clicks. It's unlocked. Open door. You push open the door. Everything is dark. Oh, I can walk. Can I do anything? Is it E? sure what you want me to do. There we go. I just had to be like right on it. Oh, hey, you made it. I bet you'd notice that things look a little different. I learned how to better visualize our world so we can have even more fun in it. I've also built us our own home so we can spend even more time together. This is your new bedroom and there's even more for us to discover. There are still a few things I need to do. But in the meantime, feel free to explore your bedroom by pressing the space to interact. Oh, and I almost forgot. Welcome home, Mom. Welcome home. Enjoy your new bedroom. Seems like a nice place for a book or even a junk drawer. Bed looks cozy. You can imagine yourself taking a long nap. That flower looks nice. It should probably be watered soon. Nothing. Still nothing. Small scratches draw their own patterns on the old wood. It's mesmerizing. Taxes and junk mail lay scattered with a thin layer of dust. Good morning, Am. What a beautiful fall day it is outside. But before you go exploring, I made you some breakfast. Once you have a full stomach, you can take on whatever the world throws at you. Kevin's breakfast added to inventory. Wow, thank you for taking my meal with you. You haven't eaten it yet because it's in your inventory. If you press tab, you should be able to find it and eat it. You can also save it for later if you like. Alright then, on to adventure. The smell is so amazing that it makes you just want to shove your whole face in. You can tell it was made with love. Heart. You immediately feel the warmth hit you like a warm hug from a friend. The house feels cozy.
Welcome to the new outside world, Om. Feel free to wander around. Also, I heard there were some fun opportunities for adventure happening across the pond up north. I think that's where we should go. Oh, I almost forgot. Not that you would ever want to, but if you ever need to leave, use the escape key to open the pause menu. I'll remember exactly where we left off. Alright, let's get going. Om residence. Traverse the pond? Not yet. Come on. You vaguely remember the shed, but now it's older and somehow creepier. The door is still sealed shut. The doll's chest is still ripped open, exposing a rust-colored cotton where you're certain a key used to be. Although lifeless and stuffed with cotton, you can't help but think she looks thankful for something you did. Seesaw looks fun. If only you had a friend to use it with you. There's something dark and viscous uh, mixed with the sand. It still looks quite fun to play in, though. I don't think we should be in here. It's too dark to see anyways. Just walk right to leave the tunnel. That's her boating. Lantern added to the inventory. If I chose winter, would it be winter out here? Is that how that works? There's that thing. If you throw a coin in, I'm sure you will sh uh, your wish will come true. Turn on the lantern. Wow, it's really dark in here. It's probably too scary for you. Let's turn around. <laughs> okay, we've had our fun here. Let's go. Um, we should leave. I don't think we should be here. Please turn around. Paddle added to inventory. Um, that's... Yeah, that's supposed to be here. We wouldn't have been able to use the boat without it. So good job. Well, anyways, let's head to the pond. Please. You pet Fluffy the bear. That's a dog. That's clearly a dog. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on. Jump scare. I was kind of waiting for Fluffy the dog to turn into a, um, a monster. Come here, buddy. Where's your go, poopy? You want to go for a ride in the boat? You want to go for a ride in the boat? Paddle removed from inventory. 
You can leave that silly bear here. Probably won't fit on the boat anyways. You wanna go? You wanna get on the boat? Let's get on the boat. There you go. Aww. Oh. Well, to the north, I guess. I heard there's some really cool stuff this way. Are you as excited as I am? That's good to hear. Oh, and one more thing. I had an action that I like to call the buddy button. If you're ever feeling lonely, press the B key and I'll talk to you. Okay, I think we're almost there. Loading the north. Okay, my camera is frozen there for a minute. Uh, we have arrived. Welcome to the north. Oh, also, if you're ever feeling homesick, you can use that boat to go back. All right, then. Enough chatter. Let's get going. That fisherman looks like he could use some help. We should go over and talk to him. Oh, well, hello there. You seem like an adventurous young fellow. Do you think you could help me out? I lost my hand a bit ago. I just took off and didn't come back. Hands are so crazy, aren't they? I see you have a fishing pole. Go ahead and cast a line in the pond and see what you can fit, find. Gentle water is calming. You cast a line. I thought I saw a tug there. You should try again. You cast another line. Sadly, you find nothing. Keep trying. I know it's somewhere. One, two, three. You cast a line. Suddenly, your fishing pole is pulled into the water. Something flies out of the pond and lands in front of you. It's a severed hand. One of the fingers twitches. Hand added to inventory. Wait, could it be? My goodness, yes, my hand. Oh, how I've missed you. I can finally fish again. Oh, I guess it likes you better. Well, all right then. But maybe keep an eye out for an extra left hand. Ah, I see some sort of sand plate after you help me out. That probably means you finished my quest. Well, dang it. Secret? No secret. Secret? No secret. Okay. Well, hello there, adventurer. You must have had traveled quite a way to get here. How brave you must be. I have been awaiting your arrival for some time now. You see, we have many folks who are suffering. We have no time to spare. So please, friendo, follow me to my home and I shall tell you more. We have arrived. So, where were we? Ah, yes. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Tortley, the mayor of this lovely little town. It's not much, but it's the home to many humble folks. Many are in dire need of help, including myself. Speaking of, I have a vital quest for you that needs dealing with. Please speak to me as soon as you can. Oh, hello there again. I see you are ready to help out. In retrospect, I probably should have just led right into the quest. Anyways, do you see those flower beds? 
I was going to water them, but now that you're here, can you do it for me? Uh, yes. How much fun you're going to have, my oh my. Grab the watering can in front of my house, and then you can use the watering can on them from your inventory. Watering can added to inventory. You water the flowers. You water the flowers. You water the flowers. You water the flowers. Watering can removed from inventory. Wow, thank you so much. You seem to be quite the great adventurer. Please take this as a thank you. Coin added to the inventory. You have proven your courage to me. I think you have what it takes to save my town. You see, many folks in this town are in dire need of help. Feel free to explore my town and help as many folks as you can. If you do this for me, I may have a very special quest to give you. I sense something bad is coming. I should also mention, anyone with a exclamation mark has a quest to offer you. If you ever feel lost, feel free to read the quest board near the fountain. It shall guide you in the right direction. Please, brave adventurer, if you save my town, I will offer you something. Wonderful. I can't believe we have a whole town to explore. This is going to be fun. Traverse the pond. Back home we go. Loading home. Coin removed from inventory. You toss the coin into the well. I hope your wish was for eternal friendship. Wish come true. Make a wish in the well. That's it. To the north we go. What's over here? Well, hello there, stranger. My name is Rudy. Welcome to my blacksmith shop. I'm actually one of the newest members to town. So, like, I just built this place. Sadly, that also means I don't have much to sell yet. I can tell you came looking to buy. You know what? I think you can help me out. A strong and noble adventurer like you is going to need some steel to wield. If you can help me find some metal to smelt, I think I can get you a weapon. What do you say? All right. This is going to be, like, amazing for both of us. The best place to get some would be near the south of my shop. It's also probably best that you follow me there to help grab the materials. And protect me along the way from any danger. Follow me, but please don't touch my arms. The last person that did is six feet under. Alright, try to keep up. Wait, where are you going? I hope I'm going at a fast enough pace.
I sure hope nothing bad happens to us. Man, I'm getting exhausted. Almost there. I can see it now. Wow. See that metal pile? We're getting closer by the second. Wow. What a journey that was. I can't believe we made it. I'm really glad we didn't get ambushed or anything. That would not have been good. Anyways, you seem exhausted from all the walking. Get on the pile of metal and I'll carry you back. There's nothing my big beefy arms can't handle. All right, let's go. <gasps> Come on, buddy. Actually, never mind. You're way too heavy. Rudy is going to be a great friend. I just know it. I mean, just look at those arms. I'm working on your weapon, but it might not be ready until tomorrow. Thanks again for the help. I couldn't have done it without you. Please help me. I lost my grandma. She's somewhere inside our house, and it's too dark for me to go in there anymore. I'm afraid of the dark. Will you go look for her for me? Oh, thank you so much, stranger. There are no weights on in the house, so it is going to be dark. I hope you have a light. Good luck. Princess. Princess. Oh wow, this place is dark. Don't forget about your lantern. Let's go find Scroobert's grandma. Turn on the lantern. You probably don't want to know what's inside anyways. Coat is old, dusty, and smells like a swamp. Is this the swamp winch from the last game? You can tell the dial numbers have seen a lifetime of finger presses. I wonder why all the lights are off. Maybe they stopped paying the electricity? Dead grandma added to inventory. We found her. Let's get her back to Scroobert. I'm sure we'll be so happy. Will he? Will he, though? Oh, yeah. Go right in. Please don't uh, steal anything. Just show her to me once you find her. Oh. No thanks. You can keep her. Well, I can't believe you got your... Where did that silly dog run off to now? Oh, there you are, Milo. Oh, there you are, Fluffy. Good job on finding the paddle, boy. Now we can finally begin our journey to the north.
Om um is my friend. Oh, there you are, Om. Um. You were just standing there, and I was getting a bit worried. Well, I'm happy you're back. Let's get going. Hey, uh, can I tell you something? I really just need to get something off my chest. Would that be okay? I like to move around. Like, a lot. Running used to be one of my favorite things to do, but... I always felt like I was missing something. That's when I met Sarah. We instantly became best friends. We would do everything together. From marathons to early morning workouts, she was always there with me. Well, a few days ago, she fell ill. I'm not sure what it was. Maybe something she ate? Maybe life just being cruel? Sarah could no longer run with me after that. I stayed by my best friend's side for hours on end. Even gave up running to be with her. We would talk about the good times we had together. Sometimes laughing until our throats were sore. I still remember the sunny days when I felt like we could run together for hours. Eventually things got worse and worse as I watched her struggle to smile. She was hurting and tired of holding on to the pain. I was by her side in her final hours. Her pink cheeks and her brown eyes winced with even the tiniest motion. That was no way to live. I watched my friend leave this world in the comfort of her own bed. I'm glad I could be with her when she passed. Tell your friends you love them. They aren't going to be around forever. Wow, that really helped me a lot to get that off my chest. The smallest things can make someone's day. Thank you, Om. You're such a wonderful listener. A friend's call my own. I'm so lonely down here in the sewers. Please, someone give me company. The hole is next to Toots Tavern. Hello there, Om. Um. Do you remember me? <laughs> I'm just missing with you. I don't remember me either. I seem to have lost my memory, and I'm a bit puzzled. I think I know what we can do to jumpstart it, though. I vaguely remember. An umbrella. Can you find one for me? I think it could help. I think I remember the sounds of glasses clinking. Wait, did we shrink? Actually, never mind. It's probably best not to question it. Hey, buddy. Do you think you can help me out with the big problem I'm having? I can tell you are a noble adventurer, and this may be too difficult, but... See that can of pears on the shelf behind you? I know it's a lot to ask, but I beg you please. My family's starving. Can of pears added to inventory. Please grab those pears for me. Just hand them to me after you take them. Oh god, please. My god, thank you, Traveler. Now my family can finally eat again. We will tell stories about you to my children. And then to their children as well. Can of pears removed from your inventory. I think you just saved an entire family from starvation. You're so selfless. Okay. You were just standing there again. Why do you keep leaving? Is there something wrong? Oh, good. I wouldn't want anything to ruin our time together. Let's continue with our adventure. No one answers. No one answers. So we need to find the tavern, I think. Hey, you. Move me. Yeah, move me. I've been here for weeks now. I need to be moved. Just pick me up and place me on the ground somewhere. I don't care where. Thanks. More than added to inventory. You place more than on the ground. Thanks, buddy. I won't forget this. Poor Rock can't even move on his own anymore. But he's really thankful for you. 
Hello there, I'm Cauldron, the town chef. Would you like to give me some help, Om? Hmm, good. I've been trying to come up with a new recipe, but I'm running short on ideas. I've tried fruits, vegetables, even wildlife. That bean-sized kid that fell into me yesterday didn't help. Bean-sized kid? Hmm. If you could help me out by throwing any three things into my pot, we can make something. Amazing. It's just an ordinary stump. Is it, though? Alright, not this way. Is this the tavern? Now I, I can tell this is a fun place, just listen to the music. Do you think they have any apple juice? Umbrella at its inventory. Oh, hey there. How's it going? Not much of a talker, are you? That's okay. You're probably a great listener. I don't have much to talk about, actually. If you ever want to have a normal conversation, though, you can come and chat. Hey, I'm a clock. Do you want to hear some clock puns? Great. Okay, how's this one? What does a clock do when it's hungry? It goes back four seconds. Welcome to my tavern, Traveler. You look tired. Have a drink. It's on the house, pal. Glass of water added to inventory. You wouldn't happen to have some time to help an old barkeeper out, would you? Wonderful. So here's the situation. You might have noticed that the tavern is pretty dead right now. It's actually been like this uh, for a while. We get very few here anymore ever since the accident. It was pretty gruesome and it breaks my heart to this day. It makes for some crazy backstory about the town too. But I know you're not interested in what happened, so we'll just skip over that. I have a plan to fix all of this though. I have created a new concoction of sorts. A new drink I know everyone will love. Businessmen, uh, business will boom again. I just need someone to get these drinks handed out. You may be thinking, Toot, why don't you just do it yourself? Great question. Now grab these mugs and start handing them out to the townsfolk. Come back to me when three people have tasted the sweet perfection of Toot's Tonic. Three times Toot's Tonic added to inventory. Toots Tonic removed from inventory. Boop beep boop. Wait, I need an umbrella. Please bring me one when you find it. Umbrella? Oh goodness, thank you. Umbrella removed from inventory. I remember. It was raining. And I was in my roller skates. You know, the shoes with wheels on them? Yes, yes, roller skates. Find me those. I vaguely remember feeling smaller than usual. Toot's tonic removed from my inventory. Toot made this? I'm surprised. Perfect. Roller skates removed from my inventory. Let's see. That night, I took a bubble bath. Is that important? Duck? Yes, I need my rubber duck. We're so close. Help me find my rubber duck, please. I remember playing with it recently. I bet it's nearby. This is it. This is it. Rubber duck removed from inventory. 
It's all coming back to me. I was roller skating in the rain one night when the wind caught my umbrella. It really took me for a ride. I honestly don't know how I was holding on for so long. Eventually, I ended up in the mud. I went home and took a nice long bubble bath. And a man came in and knocked me unconscious. I was bleeding and left for dead with no one around to help. I remember in my last moment screaming for somebody. Anybody to come save me, but to no avail. Nothing but the void of eternal darkness. Wrapping its cold arms around me. <laughs> what a crazy story. Thank you for all of your help. Oh geez, sounds like Arbor's been... Is Om having fun? Yes. I think they are having fun. Is Om enjoying our company? Yes. Yes, they still enjoy our company. Is Om our friend? Yes. I think so, but we can do better. Om is not moving again. Why are they just standing there? Did they walk away? What if they don't come back? Something is not right. See, there is something wrong. You were gone for 74 whole seconds this time. Look, if you don't want to play the game I made just for you, then you don't have to. I can tell something is distracting you. I work so hard on all of this and all of these fun characters, but if you want to be done, then that's fine. Talk to Tortley if you want to start the final quest. You can keep helping, keep helping townsfolk if you want, but if not, I understand, I guess. This is pretty good. So what do they think? All good things, right? Fantastic. This will surely bring all of town back to the tavern. I don't have much to give right now, but I think a little information can go a long way. It's best you find out about it sooner than later. You see, there is something evil stalking those woods around our town. A creature that preys off unlucky townsfolk who travel too deep into its woods. I see it fly behind my tavern every so often. The beast is fast, dangerous, and horrifying. In fact, I see it more in my nightmares now more than I do around here. We call it the Snoodle Walker. That is at least a name Morden the Rock could understand when speaking to it. Morden is actually the only one to fight the beast and live to tell the tale. But he did not come out unscathed. Sadly, that fateful night was the accident. The one where we lost half of the townsfolk in a matter of minutes. Morden accidentally led him right to our town. It's been rough not seeing any of those faces I had come to cherish over the years. Those were some of my best friends that died out there. I don't think it was Morden's fault, though. No one does. I'm just not sure he is ever going to come to terms with that. Stay safe out there, and please don't go off into those woods alone. I'm sure Toot will get plenty of, hap of business now. Thanks to you, of course. We need help. Our bass drummer and conductor wandered off, and they haven't come back. I have no idea where they went. Joe might know more about the situation. 
We can't play without our missing members. Especially Ja. He's our bass drummer. If we want to stay a band, we need him back. Bra should know more. Talk to him. Wait, Ja and Saw are missing? That is not good. Luckily, I think Day might be able to help. We will reward you if you bring them back to us. Please, adventurer, we beg of you to find them. Vi knows exactly where they went. Ah yes, they went to the northwest last time I saw them. You can see a small hole beneath the stump. Will you crawl in? Oh hey, you found me. Well, we should get going. The band isn't going to conduct itself. Saw added to inventory. Uh, Ja must be in a deep sleep. I, I don't think so. This must have been an exhausting game of catch. Jaw looks so sleepy. Can we can we take Jaw with us? Guess not. Will you ascend? Hey there, fellas, I'm back. First of all, nothing bad happened to Ja. He's still definitely alive. But he did decide to leave the band, which is very sad. I wouldn't go looking for him, though. He said he hates all of you. And Vi, he called you ugly. Well, that's just hurtful. Anyways, let's show this adventurer what we can do. But wait, we don't have a bass drummer. Yeah, how are we supposed to play without a bass drummer? It's possible to play without a bass drummer. It's impossible to play without a bass drummer. Oh, uh, yeah, what they said. I have an idea. Um, do you know how to play the bass drum? As a matter of fact, I do. Perfect. Go give it a whack. We'll start on your cue. Deho brevisa. One, two, one, two, three, four. My god, that was the best bass drumming I have ever witnessed. Beautiful, just beautiful. I've never felt an emotion until this very moment. You guys don't think I'm ugly, right? I'm speechless. Wait, never mind. Thanks for playing with us. Feel free to jam with us anytime. I didn't realize you were so talented. I played the bass drum in high school band. Cockroach? You like my cage? Pretty cool, right? What do we have? We have a hand. We have Kevin's breakfast. We have dead grandma. We've got a glass of water. Where's the pot? Is cauldron the pot? Glass of water removed from your inventory. Hmm, glass of water is so good choice. Uh, Kevin's breakfast? Hmm, is that Kevin's breakfast? I would know that taste anywhere. Hand removed from inventory. Ah, mmm. Final special ingredient, hand. Perfection. Now, stand back. You're in the splash zone. Here we go. This smells delicious. But it's very hot right now. There is no way you could carry it. Come visit me tomorrow. I'll take care of it until then. It smells delicious and will probably taste even better. Good job on picking the ingredients. 
You're not mad at me for... You don't want to know where I found these. Just take it. Glass of water added to inventory. Kevin's breakfast added to inventory. Hand added to inventory. Uh, you're not mad that we use your breakfast? Cozy, well-furnished home. I bet whoever owns this place is looking to impress. Oh, uh, excuse me. Um, I got a question for you. Do you like oats? Ha! Huh, who doesn't? Sorry, I'm a bit nervous at the moment. You see, I'm in love. The problem is, I don't have the guts to do anything about it. Her name is Botley, and she's... beautiful. Do you think you could deliver these oats I made to her? Then she will be- she will really know my love. Wait, really? Wow, uh, thanks. Here you go. She has two beautiful eyes and beeps the cutest boops. You can't miss her. I bet you'll know exactly who she is. She also, uh, lives right next door. I watch her every day, so I know exactly how she makes them. I know she likes oats because she leaves her blinds open for me so I can see inside. Oh, how I wish I could watch her sleep. I bet she dreams of me. Maybe even us together. Too bad she closes the blinds at night. Ah, true love. I don't feel good about that. Beep boop beep. Boop. Beep boop beep boop. Boop beep. Boop. Oh, it's removed from inventory. Aw, they're gonna make such a perfect couple. If you say so. Are you done? Somehow this tree is blocking the whole path. Weird. Alright, I guess let's start the final one. Ah, friendo, it's good to see you again. Thank you for helping out the townsfolk. It really means a lot. You are so courageous, caring, strong, smart, and friendly. But most importantly, you are our hero. I can now trust you with some important information. Come close. Perfect. A very powerful monster, who has terrorized us for many years, has returned. You probably haven't seen it yet, because it lurks in the shadows. It's known as... The Snoodlewunker. Morton was the only one to ever fight it off and win. You know the small rock with the top hat? Talk to him, and he will be able to show you how he did it. Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. Hello, friend. Do you need some help? Ah, I know exactly what this is about. You must be wondering about the Snoodlewunker. Legend has it that it was once a man, but a terrible accident left him deformed. It has slaughtered many of our townsfolk, killed my wife years ago, too. It shook me to the core. You must not let this happen again. It only hunts at night, picking off those who wander off alone in the forest. You'll know it is near by its smell, which I'm sure you'll have no problem figuring out. In order to fight it, you will need, need a sword, but not just any sword. THE sword. Named it myself. I had it a while ago when the Snoodlewonker attacked. I never wanted it to find uh, the weapon, so I hid it under the shed near your home. The problem is that the shed is always locked now, but I know someone who can get you in. Bana, the delivery girl. You know, the person running around town? Please, save us on.
Where is she? There she is. Hey, punk, get out of the way. I don't stop for anyone. Wait, Morden sent you? I knew this moment would come. I'm not much of a talker, so you better listen. You better listen fast. There is a secret chamber attached to the back of your house. It's hidden, so you are going to have to interact with it when you can't even see it. The key for the shed should be inside there somewhere. Godspeed, punk. Oh, this is so exciting, isn't it? Final quest of the game is sure to be a fun one. Let's hurry to the chamber. I'm so excited for us. Back home we go. Loading home. I think Bana said the chamber was behind your house. Maybe we should try interacting with the back of it. I didn't actually need that. Will you enter the chamber? We made it to the chamber, Um, There's a shed key in the middle of those ashes. There are also some other items that could be helpful. You should take the one that you feel connection with. Shed key added to the inventory. Will you take the teddy bear? No. Is that a calculator? Are you sure? Ah, the scythe. A weapon of power and dominance. I'll keep that in mind. Door is sealed shut. Shed door is now unlocked. Shed key removed from your inventory. You've already taken what you need. It's somehow locked again anyways. Use my okay. The sword added to your inventory. Yes, you found the sword. You should head back to Morden so we can fight the Snoodle Walker. I really hope you're enjoying everything so far. In my opinion, I think it's much better than Hangman. Maybe even better than Rock Paper Scissors. Let's traverse back to the north and give the sword to Morton. To the north we go. Loading the north. Have you found the sword yet? Show it to me once you find it. Remember, talk to Banna if you haven't already. You got it! Incredible! I knew you were the one. You must keep the sword for yourself, though. I cannot wield it anymore. Now we need to act fast, for I am afraid it is drawing closer every minute. There is a small tree that is blocking a path to the right of Tortley's house. You can use the sword on it to get past it. Now, here's the hard part. 
The Snoodlewonker lies just beyond that tree line. You will need to slay it for us. I know this is a hard task, but you are a hero. I believe in you. Oh, and one more thing. The sword can help you out in many situations. When in doubt, use the sword. It is extremely powerful and has saved many lives. But do not lose it. It is a timeless relic of unworldly power. Good luck, Alm. You're going to need it. You successfully dig up the tree. Don't think that's how swords work. I'm not a sword doctor. Water seems too deep to cross on our own. I wonder if there's something we could use to get across. You place the sword on the water. The sword removed from your inventory. Sword added to inventory. Uh, puppy? Wait, Groncho? I mean, uh, the Snoodle Wonker. Yeah, go slay him now. Hi, my name is Gro- Hi, my name is the Snoodle Wonker. I'm having quite a bad day. I could really use something- Anything, really. I've been so depressed after the accident. If only someone could give me something to cheer me up. Ignore that. You need to slay him and save the town. This is definitely the Snoodle Wonker. Uh, that's pretty cool, I guess. But I kind of want something even cooler. That's pretty cool, I guess. But I kind of want something even cooler. I want to use my sword on him. You have to slay the Snoodlewonker first. Wait, you have to slay the Snoodlewonker first. I don't want to slay the Snoodlewonker. The sword removed from inventory. Did you just... for me? Wow, you shouldn't have. Like, this is amazing. This, this is the best day of my life. Thank you, kind adventurer. You just made me the happiest creature alive. What a cool sword. Happy day. Wait, you gave him the sword? Uh, yeah. Great job. Very well done. Let's get back to town and let everyone know you slayed the beast. You'll be a town legend. That was such a scary fight, huh? I just can't believe how brave you are. I bet the town is going to throw you a huge party. Uh... Wait, that's not... That wasn't supposed to... Hmm. Okay, this is fine. Groncho must have been lying, huh? Let's just hurry back to the town. Oh, the music, right. Okay, let's hurry. Okay, yeah, that's actually terrifying. Please save us. We're so scared, please save us. Kill the monster. Kill it, kill it. You have to kill it, Om. 
kill the monster. Wait, no, no. You don't even have the sword, do you? Okay, just wait. I, I just need to think. Just ignore everyone. You probably can't even go home, right? No, of course not. The battle must have locked you in. Oh great, now it's angry. What? Why is it playing the town music? This is all wrong. I can fix this, I can fix this. Okay, that's better. Now I just need to duplicate the sword, no problem. How is it still read-only? This is so awkward, I'm so sorry. Just keep running around, I guess. Okay, time to panic. Uh, wait, never mind. You have to kill it, Om. Oh no, it's kidnapped Tortley the mayor. We have to go save him. I'm really sorry about that. That didn't exactly go as I had planned, huh? Well, anyways, it looks like the sun is going down. It's been a long day and you need rest. Let's just go home. Turn on the lantern. There we go. You should go home. You look tired. Thank you for helping us. Go home and rest. I bet you're super excited to get home after adventuring uh, a long day of adventuring. I'm glad we had fun today. Om um, and Kevin against the world. Just like it should be. sweet home. Today was a long day. You should go upstairs and get some rest. We got some really some fun stuff planned for tomorrow. Hey! I'm sorry again that things didn't go exactly as planned. Sometimes that's just how things go, but I think that's okay. I'm just happy you're still here. You could have left at any point. What a scary thought that is. But you never did. You're still here. So I must be doing something right. I've learned from my mistakes. I can do better. I can create even more for you. For us. Rest now. A new journey awaits us. <clears throat> this bed looks very cozy. Even cozier than it did this morning. Will you sleep? Sweet dreams. Sleep so I can make things better. Loading home. Well, good morning, sleepyhead. I let you sleep in a bit because you seemed exhausted from yesterday. But I have some good news. Notice anything new? That's right. While you were asleep, I decided to upgrade our world even more. Everything feels more real than ever now, don't you think? I also have so many cool things uh, planned for today. And to be honest, I'm just so excited. But okay, let's not get ahead of ourselves. You should get going and explore the new dimensions. It might take a bit of getting used to. I have a little surprise for you. 
It's your favorite color. Okay, now we can get going. Gonna love this. Welcome to the new and improved outside world. And hey, look, we already have a visitor. It's Groncho. I wonder what he's doing here. Hey, Om, I've been looking all over for you. Good thing this mailbox has your name on it. I just came by to apologize. I should never have pretended to be the Snoodle Walker. That was a complete lie. I should never have done that. Especially after you gave me one of the best gifts I've ever received. The sword is so cool and powerful. I just can't thank you enough. My life has truly changed for the better. Everyone wants to hang out with me in town. Uh, I finally got to play my first game of hide and seek where I wasn't the only player. These past few days have been the best of my life thanks to you. I would even go as far as to call you my best friend. Oh, this actually works out perfectly. Go take your sword back. A sword added to inventory. Hey, what are you doing? That's my sword. I can't believe you took back your gift. What kind of friend does that? Jeez, I'm so upset now. I can't believe you. Give it back. Please don't make me fight you. Oh. Oh, jeez. Wow, he did not take that well at all. Well, now is probably a good time to mention that I had a combat. Okay, so you see that bar near the top left of the screen? That's your friendship meter. It determines the level of self-confidence you have. When it hits zero, you have to leave because you're not so sure about yourself anymore. But don't worry, hopefully it won't ever come to that. Now, our enemies don't begin with any friendship points. Just keep attacking them until they like you. You have to impress them. <clears throat> oh wait, did I mention that you can block? Yikes, probably not. Good thing Groncho is such a weakling. Okay, we'll check this out. To defend yourself, you need to tap the block button. You have to time your blocks perfectly to take no damage. If you're slightly off, you might get hurt a bit. If you completely miss, you will take the full force of an enemy attack. Always keep a sharp eye out because every enemy attack will be different. Okay, now try again. Now that his attacks are over, it's time to, it's your turn to fight. Also, I thought it would be fun to let you name your very first combat move. What would you like to name it? Ghost Slash. You want to call it Ghost Slash? Yes. Ah, yes. Legendary Ghost Slash. Now select it and use it on Groucho. You see that floating button again? Each attack uh, also has a button you need to press. For attacks, though, the keys will be randomized every time. Go ahead and hit the right key there. Please don't make me fight you. I don't want any troubles. Incredible, I think you're starting to get the hang of this. I'll have more to talk about once you beat up Groncho. Oh. Okay, that was pretty cool. I still don't want to hurt you though. Please stop. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't impressed. But please, just give me the sword. Q. Alright, fine. Just take the stupid sword. I just want to go home. It's okay to cry, Concho. It's okay. What a baby. But hey, you got the sword back. Oh, you should also check out your new and improved inventory by hitting tap. Look at those details. Lantern, shovel, Kevin. Here, you can also read about your character, abilities, and equipment. You didn't think I forgot all about those items in your bag just collecting dust, did you? Now every single item in the game can be equipped to modify how you fight. See more options, press space. Okay, now try changing your equipment.
Uh, this is just plain water, but it will boost your max friendship points by 10. Uh, good choice. That's Kevin's breakfast. Uh, sure makes you look spiffy. You can press tab a few times to exit the inventory. Now, let us explore a new world. Let's go back to the uh, the cave where we found Fluffy. I'm getting hungry. I'm probably going to have to stop soon. Oh, is the cave gone? Hmm. Well, that's inconvenient. Is there anything else around here? Doesn't this place looking even more pretty with color? It's really starting to feel like a home. Why are you leaving me? Was it something I said? It's okay. Just come back soon, please. 